Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Are you so excited? So excited. Dude, how about Ellie though? Dude, that was fucking pumped. I looked at, like, first thing I did when I woke up this morning, and she was so nervous about the Max Snatch event. Had a 10-pound PR, like, I posted all my story, and you could see on her Instagram, man. She was so stoked after it, which is awesome for her to see. I mean, she, her confidence in that event was, I mean, she knew what she was capable of, but she was definitely really, really nervous for it. So to see her, like, freaking smash it was awesome. It was definitely a good Saturday for her. Saturday's moving day, and she freaking... Moved her way up into a good spot, so excited for her to go on the last day. Does that fire you up? Oh yeah, hundred percent, one hundred percent. I mean, she got a PR. It's like, man, gotta get a PR too, you know? Your turn. My turn. I start out with Linda this morning. Should be super fun at like nine a.m. And then we got a snatch workout like this afternoon. So smash Linda. Come. Um, yeah, come back here, probably like relax, maybe take a nap or something, and then hit a good snatch this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, I think going into like both the workouts today, like definitely really nervous for both of them because I know what I'm capable of and I know what I want to do. So it's just matter about like going out there and executing well. I think it's a day, today is definitely like a big day for me on the leaderboard. I know I'm not sitting at the spot where I want to be and today's my day to make up those points. We got three events today and then we only got two tomorrow. So today's definitely a day to kind of like make that move and put yourself in a good position going, going into Sunday. finished event number three this morning um like i said before today was a big day i think to move up on the leaderboard and just i feel like i've had a lot of no reps this weekend i think i feel like my movement quality is pretty good but obviously it's just not up to the standard and got into the dumbbell bench workout and was getting a bunch of no reps back to back to back and couldn't really figure out what was going on. They said my hips were coming up, which they were, but like my butt wasn't leaving the bench, which is kind of how I viewed the standard. But nonetheless, it kind of took me out of that lead race and kind of had me, I kind of had to start playing more conservative just because I didn't want to keep getting more and more no reps. So just really tried to like make sure my hips weren't even like I wasn't even flexing my glutes because like I'd flex my glutes and my hips would rise just because my glutes are being flexed and he was calling that as a no rep. But still feel like I finished strong. I knew there was a lot more on the leaderboard on that one that I could have made up. So that kind of stings a lot. <laughs> but uh, there's still two more events today. So hopefully we can kind of get this train back on the tracks and kind of do what I'm I feel like I am capable of yeah I mean I'm, I'm I'm nervous don't get me wrong I mean I think uh I'm uh I'm definitely highly highly motivated so I think that's good but it's just about to go out there and um execute I think that's one thing that I just haven't done to my full ability yet so I think that's just kind of my goal for this next workout is to do what I know I'm capable of and have a clean run through <laughs>
What is this? Draw <laughs> <laughs> all her splits for the workout. <laughs> like no, 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 no. These are my weights. So, like, oh, this wait, is sorry. My, my paces for my run. And then yeah, this is my look. times, my weights, and then how to make the weight. So, <laughs> 45 plus 15. <laughs> add fives to two and a half. I'm surprised then, you didn't draw. Is, is this real I'm surprised, life? You, I'm surprised you didn't draw a little You should hear Adam talking The about best it. part. Okay, so look at the top number there. There's, it's just like one, that's her pace. 12 to 13. It's, it's 12 to 13, right? So she's on the runner, 100 meters in. Cool. <laughs> Checks, make sure she's going the right pace. We're like, okay, awesome. She's settling in. About 400 meters in. Okay, checks again. All right. Okay. She maybe she, so for, maybe she forgot. Okay. 700 meters in. Checks again. Okay. Like, hey, it's one number, but uh, hey. making sure she's hitting that pace. I was trying to remember. Dude, that's my so first hilarious. time and wait, and then I don't know. And then the so tanner just got in the way. <laughs> <laughs> These debriefs are a lot more fun when I'm doing well. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, this is the end of day two. I think I'd be lying if I was saying I wasn't disappointed about the representation of my fitness on the leaderboard. Going into the this weekend, I definitely, I'm not doubting that at all now. Like I know that I'm fitter than I was last year at this time. And for whatever reasons they may be, like it's, I feel like it's just not reflected on the leaderboard, and I think that's like the hardest pill to swallow. Like if I was sitting in this position and I felt like I've gotten the most about it, the most out of every workout, I think it'd be I'd be okay. I think uh, it's been more of a mental battle than a physical for me this uh, these past two days, but. Um, it's a challenge nonetheless, and I think that's uh, that was what's going to make us better in the long run. So I think just kind of using every opportunity to make sure that I'm still bettering myself, I think, or I know I'll be better for it. I mean, I got, like, the best team around me, and I think they're, they, they haven't lost even a bit of, con like, confidence in me, and I think that's something that's pretty cool to have in my corner. So I think just heading into tomorrow, it's just... more so going out there and proving to myself of what I cap what I'm capable of. I think I've pretty self critical of myself after after every workout and I've just looking back on the weekend we were five workouts deep and I felt like I haven't crossed the finish line with a smile on my face yet and that's uh that's just not who I am. But I'm also not gonna go out there and put a fake smile when I'm not happy with what I've done. So Event six and seven tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully we have a good wrap to the end of the end of this video. I mean, event number six was definitely my favorite workout of the weekend. So I'm obviously I want to go out there and put up a freaking event record. I mean that's the that's the mindset that I'm in. But uh, nonetheless, I want to go out there and just execute. I think I haven't done that in five workouts, and that's something that I feel like is not who I am or who I want to be as a competitor. I think I've always just maximized my fitness in every single workout and I haven't done that yet. So going in tomorrow, I just want to cross that finish line knowing that that was my best, regardless of where everyone else is at. And I think when I do that, I'm pretty hard to beat, so. Hasn't looked like the champion we're used to seeing on the competition floor, but you know what? Don't doubt him. Madeiros is going to reverse the negative trend in a big way. Do not make this man angry. You will not like him when he is angry. And Justin Madeiros takes heat six and sets an event record. I'm so stoked. <laughs> that was the J we know. That was the J we know. Much, much better. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> That's our boy. <laughs> yeah. Colin Turner. What happened? She got first. 
<laughs> See if she answers. It's late there. She's waiting for you. Good job, Turner! Thank you. Congrats. Freaking Thank you. crushed it. That's freaking awesome. You gotta be pumped. Good job, Turner! Thank you. <laughs> But I wanted to wait and speak to you. <laughs> and your fans. And your fans. My fans. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I'll brief you in like 15 minutes. Yeah. I just wanted to speak to you before you went and say, um, you don't need luck, but good luck. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How you feel, buddy? Good. All done for the weekend now. <laughs> uh, felt good to kind of come out today on event six and kind of call my shot and kind of put one out there and kind of perform how I know I can perform. Nice clean run through, no no reps. <laughs> that, uh, that that felt really good. Kind of felt like I was in control. And obviously on this last one, I think it was a workout that um, I put a lot of work out in the bike. So it was nice to kind of go out there, kind of hold my own. and. He's able to move up a little bit on the leaderboard, so I'll take that. I'll take that right and get it. Too shit, but it's red and there's lines on the road. I don't what like it. What is wrong with you? Why are you just stressed? I don't like it. We're gonna get a ticket, or worse, we're gonna get towed. <sighs> You were just moving. <laughs> you need a look, bro. Can't even notice. We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I thought he was punching it. Stop, it did appear that way. <laughs> Damn it, you're gonna get some. I'm really sorry. <laughs> The best YouTube video ever. Dude. We're not gonna make it home, we're gonna be in jail. <laughs> jail? Hey Trista. Hey Dallas. What's happening? Oh, just invited a boy to our little family dinner. Is he a farmer? No, he's not a farmer, but he does drive a nice truck. I feel like he's already lost. Well, you have to give him a shot. How do you, how do you think he's going to fare against all these people? Well, I don't know. They're going to try and intimidate him. That's what they said. But we'll see. How old is this boy? 19. What? <laughs> 19. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Oh God! <laughs> How was the day, bro? It was a good day. It's a good day. <laughs> it was. We had a. I mean, the day started with CrossFit stuff, so we had event six and seven, which was was pretty fun. I mean, event six was awesome. Finally, had like a good, like showing, which was awesome. Only, Sounds only one no rep. Or no no reps. No no reps today. Oh, oh. This whole day I had no no reps, so it was a damn good day. And then um, we, I mean, that was all the good stuff. Yeah, 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 cross the stuff. But tonight, Trista, pretty much my little sister, 
had a boy she's been crushing on all competition. And then she said he was finally going to come tonight. So we had, well, it was probably 20 of us there. <laughs> <laughs> sat in like a half circle put like a bar stool like on the front of it and we all just sat and asked him questions like right when he walked in like and honestly he took it like a champ we'll have to play some clips of it but the guy was a trooper his name's daniel i guess he got what he said he finished 22nd 22nd yeah yeah 22nd overall honestly like super solid like showing he's a young kid and uh yeah, I guess he beat me in one of the workouts. He made sure to let me know of that. So yeah, he said he liked the, the snatch run workout. Yeah. What was your time? Yeah. Faster than yours. That's all I know. Oh! <laughs> I was like, I bet you he beat me in it. Dang. That was good. Got me. Uh, it was a pretty awesome night. We'll have to show some clips of it here, but. It was a good end of the weekend, man. We got a we got a solid crew. I mean, it like at least watching it, I you guys should feel like it's a it's a whole family there with like Trista, my family, like Adam. It's just like awesome the support group we have. It was it was a real fun night. That's kind of how we like to cap the weekends. I mean, we literally just hung out in the hotel lobby. We ordered sushi and pizza because that was what I was feeling like. Weird combo, I know. I just ate some sushi, took a break, and then I was like, pizza sounds pretty freaking good right now. So, did that, and then capped off the night with Trista's boyfriend, which is pretty awesome. It was, it was a good night. <laughs> yeah, you also don't even follow Justin. But my Instagram got hacked and deleted, so I have to restart, you know what I mean? <laughs> It did. I'm not joking. At, at Waterpalooza, it did. Oh, look at this. Watch. Dude, I follow it. That's crazy. I'm subscribed. Oh, I'm subscribed. Yeah. Now he is. Like and subscribe. Learn from his mistakes. You'll never know when you're standing in front of me and you got to be subscribed to the channel. So. Yeah. But anyways. If you guys like the interview, maybe we'll post more of it later, but we'll for sure to put some clips. <laughs> All right.